this session we're going to show you how iThoughts can automatically create calendar events and reminders on your Mac straight from the map you're creating. So you'll see here under Monday, under Monday morning, I've said that we have a sales meeting and using the task information panel that we talked about earlier, I've just put in that we have a sales meeting on Monday the 5th of September at 9am. So you'll see that's all attached there. So what I can now do is if I click on this to highlight it and right click, if I come down to calendar on this drop down menu and say create event, it'll automatically open up my calendar. It'll say add a new event and let's just say, yeah, we'll add it to my home calendar. If I say OK, wait for it, you'll see it automatically has exported that information into my calendar. So I now know that I have a sales meeting at nine o'clock. So very handy. Let's just get rid of that so the rest of the team don't get confused and wonder why we're having a meeting that they don't know about. <laughs> so I'll delete that. So that's how you can do it. If you automatically, if you already have put the information in in the task panel, I uh, I thought it can automatically export it with the information attached, so it can put it into your calendar at the right time, so on and so forth. If you haven't put any task information on there, you can build it out from scratch. So you can say training workshop, right click on that, go down to calendar, say create event, home event, and it's created it onto day, so it'll automatically default to the time and day that you are currently on. And from there, obviously, you can, within your calendar, edit the date, the start date, and so on and so forth. Similarly, you can do the same thing with a reminder. So if you don't want a calendar event, you might want to create a reminder, though. So again, if I come to this first one, where I've already put the information in using the task information panel. I right-click, and I say calendar. I say create reminder. Adding it to my reminders list. And there it is. It's taken the task information, and it said you have a sales meeting on the 5th of September at 9 a.m. and then it'll pop up as a reminder on my computer and on my phone. So it's a really slick way of exporting information that you might have put into say a weekly planning map. You can really slickly, if that's even a word, export the information, the task information there and create reminders and events. And also as we said if you haven't already put that in there we can come down, haven't already put information to the task panel, we can come down and we say create reminder and it'll do the very same thing but it just won't have a date attached to it. So you'll see the reminder was training workshop. It doesn't have any task information. So when I've said create reminder, it's created a reminder for me, but it just doesn't have things like the time and date attached to it, which you can add later in your reminders panel if you like. So just a really simple way that I thought to make your life a little bit easier by exporting things straight into calendar events and reminders.